Hello PointWise users and welcome to another Tutorial Tuesday video where we show you how to use a feature or demonstrate a technique in just a few minutes. Today we're going to look at two new file formats for importing discrete surfaces, the Stanford POI and Wavefront OBJ formats. In addition to the STL format, which PointWise already included, PointWise now imports and exports two additional discrete formats, the Stanford POI and the Wavefront OBJ format. Both of these formats support triangles, quads, and inside of poly cells and are available for import and export of grid and database entities. Since these new formats are common in the areas of 3D printing and computer graphics, I thought it would be good to showcase this new feature using a couple of well-known test cases from those communities. Let's take a closer look at these formats from inside PointWise. Okay, let's go to File, Import, Database. I'm going to import this bun zipper.pli file. This is the Stanford bunny. Uh, we get the shell conversion frame here, which is common to all the discrete uh, import database panels. And then we get the import layer frame, which is common to all of the database import panels. I'm just going to use the defaults for now. And we can see that the bunny did import. And we get a nice summary down here in the messages window. So let's undo and look at the OBJ file format. So I'm going to go to import. This time I'm going to import as a grid. And I'm going to import this tpot.obj. This is the Newell or the Utah tpot. And we have this domain splitting frame. If I wanted to isolate feature edges, I could certainly um, set a split angle. But I'm just going to, again, use the defaults. We can see that the tpot did um, did import, we get again a nice summary down here, and we have four unstructured domains. So you might be thinking, I don't handle discrete geometry, so how do these new formats benefit me? Well, let's say you inherited an old mesh, and for some reason you don't have the original geometry. Obviously, without a geometry to constrain to, your surface mesh could easily be destroyed with any updates you might make. So, what you can do in this situation is export your existing surface mesh as one of these discrete formats and then import it back into PointWise as a database to constrain to. So let's look at that option. We have our domains selected. Let's go to File, Export Grid. And since I imported this as an OBJ, I'm going to export it as a PLY, but you could certainly choose any format here. Um, and we'll give it a name and save. And there are no export options, but we can again see that it did successfully export down here in the messages window. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button or subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, drop us a line below or connect with us via LinkedIn, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.